Bear. Go Phillies! Orlando Mata! Hell Orlando! Yeah. Let's go! And I'll see as Braves can kiss my sweet ass. <laughs> yeah! This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Hey everyone, and welcome everyone to the Triple G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You just become a member of this podcast and get extra podcast content every single month. We actually just had our members podcast for September. <laughs> On Tuesday, <laughs> a couple weeks late. We apologize for that. We had a great. It happened though. It doesn't a, matter. We did it. We had a fantastic conversation, Drip. We talked about uh, what did we talk about. We talked about. Our, we talked about our favorite gaming memories. Memories. Yes, gaming. we did. And we also uh, mostly Nintendo stuff, obviously. But we also talked yeah. about the PlayStation Five, and that was a topic we don't usually talk about on the show. Uh, it's normally, because it's a, it's a PlayStation thing. So if you guys want to check out that conversation, uh, I recommend it. Become a member. If you can link down below. Five bucks a month. It supports the stream and gets you some extra content. So it's a win-win for everybody. Drip, how are you doing, man? I messed up the intro. I I, I think that intro was actually perfect. I'm going to leave the Phillies thing in. I'm going to leave the oh, crowd. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave the crowd noise. I started the, the music on with the crowd noise. Like, it was still going. I think that was a perfect intro. All right. Well, I mean, I, I love it. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing all right. Hanging uh, out. Uh, we're a Nintendo pop podcast, but I will just say for a second, in our live chat here, we'll record this podcast live, obviously. And in the live chat, somebody just said, go Phillies, because the Phillies beat the Braves. I know nobody out there probably cares about that but me in Orlando uh, and Atomic, if you're out there. But, uh, yeah. Phillies beat them, and uh, that's as much as we'll talk yeah, about. I don't that. want to talk about my sports stuff right now at all. <laughs> oh, no. After what happened last night, I cannot believe what happened. Did you see what happened? No, I, I West Virginia was basketball. They football? scored a touchdown with 12 seconds, like it was like 12 seconds to go to nice. take the lead. Uh, it was ba- I mean, it was basically done. The game was done, <laughs> and they gave them enough time to, to go down the field a hail mary, and they they got it. They they caught the ball with no time left on the clock, and we actually lost. It was. Awful. I don't want to talk about it. That's okay. You just talked about it, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. <clears throat> Other than enough. that, it's been a pretty good week. Yeah, I mean, like I can't. I, my week, dude. Last night, oh man, I just want to talk about the Phillies some more because last night was wild for me. I like had like a. F- I was getting a fever from how nervous, like all the nervous energy was creating a fever. I had gotten ice cold I got water, a fever. ice cold water, and dumped it on a towel, and it was on my head for an hour, and I was still warm. What? It, it was wild. I like was getting a legit fever. That's how nervous that all that nervous energy was manifesting into I mean, anyway anyway <laughs> we don't need to talk about that anymore uh drip i don't think you have a beer this week my friend do you drink anything i don't i don't i have nothing you have no water even i have water i was gonna say how do you talk for this long without water i can't live like that uh, i do have water i have a bottle of water well if you wouldn't mind hitting that music for me because i actually do have a couple things to share with you guys for beer week before we get to our nintendo topics don't worry we'll get to those uh i have with me sir a couple here, two, uh, two, actually three. Do I have three? I drank the other one, but I, I have three cool options to show you right now. All Angry Orchard options. Uh, so Angry Orchard traditional cider, of course. Can't go wrong with the old okay. uh, Angry Orchard. Turn it down just a tad, please. It's a, it's a bit, it's a wee loud, lad. Uh, so it's a variety pack. So then we are in this uh, other one. It's so shiny, you can barely read it. This is the heart. Uh, no, it isn't. It is the baked. Apple pie flavor. Ooh. I just drank that whole thing while we were in through the Okay, so what's stuff. that one? That one's different, clearly, right? So there's also cinnamon in this pack, and this basically just tastes like cinnamon with like caramel sugar flavor as well as the I mean those are pretty cinnamon. sugary anyway. It, yeah, it was it's too sweet. Too sweet, too watered down. It was sweet and watered down tasting at the same time. Not a big fan of that. Um and then I also have with me, I'll drink a little I'll open it a little bit later, the green apple. Ooh, flavor. I bet that one's good. So again, it's suffering from a bit of the watered down taste. I don't know why. I haven't I, had an Angry Orchard in so long. Yeah, good. my last Angry Orchard was on tap at a. It was called Wakanda Fest. Um, that was the. It's like an in town festival. And, yeah. Uh, it on t- dude, Angry Orchard on tap was incredible. I 
can't. If you have the opportunity to get Angered Orchard on tap, please do so. It's a life changing experience. Uh, but so I'm not a fan of the cans. Cans don't taste that great. We used if, to drink. Do you remember Woodchuck? Do I remember, dude? No. How, how old? Woodchuck was like the original, like <laughs> hard apple site. It was way before Angry Orchard. Dude, I'm only but... 21 years old. Drip. I'm, come on, man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, it was it was probably before your time, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, so I don't I don't know. I'm 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 not 21. I wish I was. Um, they had two flavors. They were kind of like that. <laughs> one was green. One was red. Yeah, Sound no, like I don't that. remember that. Uh, but yeah, those are my beers of the week. Uh, they're they're tasty. Uh, I drink, I'm drinking way too much beer by the time this night is ended. And this is going to be like one of the old episodes we used to do where both got really tipsy. Remember yeah, but I'm not going to be. I'm just going to be yeah, completely sober. Completely You're going to be the one. I'm getting a little bit tipsy because yeah. I'm also going live on Twitch after this. And uh, also that'll. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the end of that, we yeah. should we should have some interesting <laughs> interesting content to tune in for that. <laughs> if you're uh if you're in the live stream that's for that's for funsies uh drip we got a show for you guys uh i, might, I could need to pull up the pod room i do have the pod room pulled up here we're gonna get right into the conversation right now drip we're gonna get right into it uh our headliner is would you buy an all digital nintendo switch 2 and that's what we're gonna begin with here uh, obviously if you're watching the stream or clicked on the video you saw that title we're gonna get to it right now drip i'm gonna ask you the questions just straight up to start off with just you know straight, the answer just straight up would you buy the all digital switch to over the physical condition? Not we're not talking about price or anything like that. Just like you have the option, you can afford both. Does price isn't, isn't a factor? What which one are you buying? All digital or the physical version? I'm probably getting the digital one. Hmm. I'm all digital. Hmm. I don't need physical media. I have no desire to collect plastic anymore. Not that kind of plastic. I got all kinds of other knickknacks and bullshit here. Legos. Like that's that's enough. I don't need. I don't. I just don't need. I don't need it taking up space on my shelves. I would rather have everything digital, right there. And another thing I like about that too, is, I don't know. You talk about the price, and how that's not a factor or whatever. But like that is going to be a factor, right? It's got to be. I mean, I got the all digital. I have the digital Xbox. Mm -hmm. I have the digital PlayStation. Yep. I do have a, a a disc version of the PlayStation as well, but yeah. I got that one after. You're saying uh, you're saying the pr the price is a factor, like it's going to be a cheaper console. I would imagine, right? Well, I, I mean, that's how it is with all the other ones. I I think it's going to be, and I think I've talked about this on the like, was it last week? Even we talked about it on the pre-show a second ago. I kind of feel like if they do that, right? If they do a, a digital version and a physical version in the same generation here, I almost feel like, and if they release at the same time, I kind of feel like it's going to be a tier thing, very similar to the Steam Deck, where the base Steam Deck is the all the console it is, just like the top tier is, but you just get different features and added features as you go up the tiers. So I feel like maybe all digital might be the lowest tier one, the cheapest option, and then you go there's a middle tier and a higher tier switch too. And you know that that's what I, if there if there's a difference in the price, that's what I feel like there that that's what's going to be. Otherwise, you're not getting the same price physical console as well as a digital console. They're not going to be the same price. That's, that, that makes no sense. No. Well, and this is something we talked about a couple weeks ago. And Unless your PlayStation <laughs> and your digital one cost more than your physical when it comes down to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like There's it. that too. But listen, yeah. here's what I wanted, to, here's what I wanted to, to run by you with this stuff. Okay. So as far as price goes, let's just say there is a digital version. There is a, a physical version. That cartridge slot, it's not like we're talking about a Blu-ray disc drive here. Right. We're talking about a a cartridge slot, like something. Yes, that's like, the size that's of not SD. expensive. Yeah, like it's, what's it's the barely bigger than a, than an SD card slot? I mean, what I I, we, I don't know, but I mean, what would something like that even actually cost? Oh, I mean, the cost pennies. Of the, yeah, the same thing it costs. Whatever it costs in metal is what it costs. It's not very it's expensive. Nothing. Yeah, it's not like it's got a motor it's in some, it that's spinning it's, the disc and right, doing right. Right, that is that's a significant. If you ever seen a disc drive out of a console or something like that, yeah, it's it's a pretty substantial. Oh, and thing. what's Sony charging for there? Eighty bucks for 80 the bucks, the yeah. detachable one for the new ones. Yeah, in all reality, it's probably like twenty dollars worth of yeah, hard but I mean, yeah, stuff maybe even less than that probably, but you know, there's quality and, and stuff like that involved. It's so yeah, price. what you're saying about like the tiers, I feel like to add. To that, if it is, and that's where you get, that's where you kind of get messed up too. To make it a price difference, it's actually like, you know, like this makes sense. You would think that maybe the other one had more storage. Maybe that would be something. Yeah. 
it could be like again look at the steam deck for example yeah 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 those are the those screen, are the swords and i got the 64 storage ram steam deck yeah sword speed not just uh, not just the uh storage capacity see that's where i don't speed. think nintendo will go i don't think they'll touch anything like I that i know i'm just saying there's there's many things that can be done like xbox has done that with the the series s and x but i don't think as far as like performance i think all of them will be the same performance wise I would imagine. Well, storage speed Nintendo is not, likes to keep it pretty simple with that type of stuff. Storage speed is not performance per se. It's just like basically load times. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about like an SSD times. or yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still it still is performance. I mean, as far as load times go, it makes it load faster. Yeah, but it has better performance I, as far as I hear you. When, that when, type when of thing. I, think of, I know what you mean. Not like actual like specs. Like yeah. the games actually look better. Right. Right. So uh, I would definitely get a digital, man. I would want a digital. I don't I don't want to have to deal with all the other media. I don't want to have to deal with the the cases, the, the putting cartridges in and out. I like to have it all right there. Just go to the menu, yeah. go to my games. I, I understand. You know, click I, on that game. I understand you there. Go. And, and it, I, I I like collecting, right? So there there is um, there is a part part of me that is is a collector, and and if especially if I had more money going on in my life, I probably would buy even more. Like I just watched um, beat him ups his video he posted today about his trip to Japan. I watched metal uh, just this morning. Uh, uh, coincidentally, I also watched metal uh, metal is metal Jesus rocks or what is oh yeah 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 um uh, something like that in, in some order there metal Jesus rocks. Um, he went to Japan and posted his vlog this morning as well. Everybody's I, just hanging out in Japan. Yeah, I I love uh, Japan vlogs. Uh, Elliot Coyle uh, of the Retro Future also uh, went to Japan, and again, it's a, I I love to consume that content. I'm just a Japan fan. season. Oh man, it, apparently Japan's like the place to go now for gaming. I mean, not that it's like a new thing, but like people are doing it now more than they have been in the, in, before. Um, I'd love to go. So yeah, I mean, I, I, man, I, I just looked at my passport. My passport, I'm old, dude. My passport <laughs> expires. Next February, I don't. I don't think I have. I don't have a passport. I've never needed those a things. Passport. Last like ten years, right? I think so. Yeah, <sighs> that's crazy. I'm sure I had I one from when I, when I was a kid. I had one because we went to Canada to see the uh, the falls, um, through the Ni- Niagara Falls. But anyway, back to the switch. Yeah. Um, oh, I, now you've distracted me. Now I can't remember what. We Sorry. Were just about. What were we just saying? Drip. Oh, you know, we were talking about how much better uh, okay, digital okay. games so, are. Than okay, physical let me let me, games. me continue my point. So, I a part of me is a physical collector. I love I love yeah. that stuff. Um, but also a part of me is a deal bargainer, and and I love a good deal. And let's say I'm playing a game that I maybe I bought. In the, here's a good example: Sonic Frontiers is a game I bought physical that I thought I would want more than mm-hmm. I than I now realize I do in terms of physical game. Uh, I'm. I could sell Strong Fr- Fr- uh, Frontiers right now if I wanted to get some of that money back. That I don't. You know that I. You know I played the game. I'm done with it, and I don't really need to collect it anymore. It's, I don't feel like I, it, it ended up not being so strong emotionally with me. I, that's what the games I like to keep. The games I keep all the way up there are the ones I feel strongly about emotionally, I like, and I like to keep them for keepsake reasons. Yeah. So, so uh, the option to resell your game. Either on eBay or just give it back to GameStop if you're that kind of person. I like to go on eBay, sell it on there, get a little bit extra for my games. I was gonna say, yeah, you can at least Facebook make a marketplace bit extra. is even it's probably yeah. the best place, something like that, thrift store or whatever. Um, you know, get some money back for the games <laughs> is a uh, sorry, my phone went off. Yaha. Um, but that that's definitely a, a a perk that is when you buy a game physical. Then. Yeah, it is no, I mean that's you, there's no no debate there whatsoever. Yeah, you do have the the ability to resell it. I mean, for me, it's just it's like that's where the balance is. Where it's like, which one do you really want to be able to resell it, or do you want the convenience? Because you're you're kind of giving up one or the other. Yeah. So like for me, drip. I'm trying to say like you wouldn't even if you had the option. The prices were the same. That was the question. You know, money's not a no. factor here. You would still, yeah, still oh, choose digital. the digital over. You don't even want the option. Don't need it. So why was it in our members podcast that most people didn't hear because you're not a member, if, by the way, you become a member of this podcast, the link's down below, but we just did a members podcast this Tuesday and we talked about the PlayStation situation and the pricing is issue. And you had said, why would you buy 
the digital version of the, the digital console. one. Yeah, I, you should buy the physical one because it has it's cheaper when you're when you're considering the price of the the uh, disc reader. Yeah, I mean, so we were talking you're tell- about so we were right talking now, about price, you're, at and that you're point. saying right now. That right for the switch? No, no, no. I buy digital. I would buy the digital. Yeah, it's handheld that, that, too. That yeah, makes a huge difference. The, okay, you need. I understand. Okay, it's handheld. But dude, plus we're, we were, we're talking saying about price isn't a factor price specifically here. at that point. It would make more sense just to buy the other one and have the disc drive, especially for something like that. Like I said, handheld. No, nah, I don't care. I don't even want it. I don't want to deal with it. But like, I don't know. This thing just sits here. If you're sitting right beside it, it's not a big deal. Like, oh, yeah, like your buddy, like I said, has a copy of whatever for 20 bucks. You're like, yeah, you know, whatever. I want to play it. 20 bucks. The Switch is a hybrid, though. It's not purely a handheld. It is. Okay. What but it may- doesn't have to stay there. I'm just I don't play what? it just here. This I play literally just sitting here. Hmm. All right. Okay. I just I don't understand how you would say that. Oh, you why would you buy the digital version of the PS5, get the physical version, uh, and then you would say, well, for Switch too, I'd only buy the digital. <laughs> I version. just told you, because then you like, yeah, I'm fine with that. If I'm sitting here and it's like, You're, oh it's well, because... if I do want to play that and someone offers it to me, honestly, I was talking about that more in just a general term of like, yeah, why don't you just buy that one? For me, I, I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna buy a disc from somebody probably. But I'm saying that is an option that it could happen to someone out there. And maybe it would be better to just have the option, especially when you consider the price. That's all. So this is where why you're why are you on me about this so hard? About what? This. The whole issue, the whole well, I mean, that's what we're doing an episode on it. So clearly it's something. OK, we're talking I'm about just today. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know. Well, for okay. me personally. Okay, I yeah. will, let me tell you. Let me actually let me tell you why I'm so on you about this. Is because okay. I, I feel like Drip, respectfully, you are stuck thinking about the present and have absolutely no foresight when you're talking when we're talking about this issue specifically. You you have no foresight when it I comes to, to to the the meet the physical media. Okay, did I mean I do? And also do. you're under you're underselling the importance of owning your games. Now let me hold hold on. I know that we don't own our games right now because I know there's still technically a license, physical license. I do understand that. It's not, you can't just use your physical copies and rip them like a CD, which CDs are also, you can't do that with CDs either. Uh, But you can't just rip your games and and, and that's technically pirating and and whatever, blah, 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 blah. What I'm saying is, even though the updates aren't there, uh, like if you bought a cartridge on a Switch and in 30 years you go to play that cartridge, Pokemon, for example, all the patches won't be there because only what on day one. I understand that. But at least in 30 years, you have that cartridge, and you can pop it in, and you don't have the patches, sure. But at least you have what's on the cartridge. Unless it's the cartridges that have the 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 extra digital downloads that's not required, that is a different conversation. And honestly, this conversation go, can go in so many different ways. Uh, we, I guess we're having a hard time kind of picking which way this is going to go here tonight. Well, okay, let me, let, me, let me add to that. 30 years ago, okay. I mean, I don't have a copy of the original Mario game. Yeah. But damn it, that is easy to play just about anywhere. Yeah. Literally anywhere. So that that's kind of where I'm at on it. Like, I understand that it's a little bit different now. These games are a little bit bigger. But as technology continues to to evolve, and that's another thing, too. And I think that's a conversation I want to have with you oh, about this wait. in a little oh, bit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Drip. You what? know why that game's so easy to play right now? Not... Why? Because it was ripped off the cartridge illegally, and now that ROM is just out there, and people have it, whether Nintendo likes it or not. And well, it's Nintendo everywhere. has it on their own consoles to play. The current console, it does from Nintendo. It, it does, but here's actually a perfect. You, you just walked perfectly into a good, a good argument for me because if the di- games are always digital now in the future, if they're, if they're digital, there is no ripping the game for your own sake unless you're really hacking which maybe that's a possibility i don't know do people hack digital I'm copies of games? sure it is yeah can people actually hack digital games i i, I thought people only can hack the physical i mean stuff. i would imagine that there's probably a way to do it maybe i don't know for sure i don't do pe- that but pending, i'm saying pending that bit of information assuming that they can't do that right uh if there is no physical game to rip and to preserve like you can the original mario game because Nintendo can just say, hey, 
Breath of the Wild 30 years from now, they're like, hey, Breath of the Wild, that lives on the Nintendo Switch. Unless you got that cartridge, you're not playing it. There is, we haven't re-released that game ever since, and it's just not coming out. Or with a game that comes out for the Switch 2 that's all, all, all digital Switch 2 in this hypothetical world, it's, if it's a digital-only release, we never got a cartridge to begin with. So that is just locked to that system forever and ever, pending people can really start hacking. Oh, I was going to say, out. that's you assuming that there's no way to get that digital game off there some other way. There which probably we don't... is. Yeah, okay. That was my point that I was going to. Yeah. That's the biggest problem with digital right now that the the physical collectors have that you have is preservation. Yeah. That's the biggest issue. I think we can agree on that, right? It's preservation. I understand. I understand it, that later on down the road, later yeah. on there's going to be these games that are lost and that happens, but I don't know. To me it's like it, it, it's, if it's if it's that good of a game, somebody's re-releasing it because they do it all the time. It yeah. literally happens nonstop. It, Games that were people want to play, they're re-released on this. Yeah. They're remastered on this. Okay. They're done this way, that way. I will agree with you though. The fact that some of the, like these servers shut down, that has to be fixed. It Especially if we're doing won't... all digital. Y okay. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. If we're doing all digital, that's what needs to happen. I think that would probably help a lot of people be okay with what's happening with all digital stuff and not having a physical game to put in there if we knew okay there's these i don't know these servers that are sitting at this place and like this is like the history of video games everything is out here this is where it goes this is where it's kept safe like if there was a thing like that i think everybody would probably feel a lot better about the situation i do understand that side of it I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't care as much as I guess other people do. Cause I, you know, once I play a game, I don't know. I've played it. I come back to it. Zelda games. Yeah, I do. I have a lot of those physical for that reason. Um, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of games that I'm like, yeah, it'll probably be released on something else. Cause they, they tend to do that a lot because they know they can make money again, re-releasing it. Or, you know, putting it like Nintendo does on a online system where we can just pay for our online and we get these old consoles with all these games. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they're going to start using it to their advantage in lots of different ways. That's for sure. And I think the online, the Nintendo online stuff is one way we're seeing that because they got rid of the virtual console, which is still digital games. But they kind of got rid of that completely, so you can't even rebuy it from them. Like, we've talked about this before. They're forcing you to get the online if you want to play those games. So they're kind of, like, gatekeeping them a little bit with that. Yeah. To yeah. get you to get to the, on their service. So I've had some time to think as you were talking. I was listening, of course, but I was thinking about what I was going to say here. It's a bigger issue than just gaming. We'll get into the, the, the what Best Buy is doing in, in next year and possibly Walmart in a minute here. But it's a bigger issue than just gaming. And it, it's, it is this control that companies have over us with digital. And particularly services. If, if you didn't know, <laughs> there wasn't, there haven't always been a stream, a stream, um, not streaming, a subscription service for everything like there is today. Like I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you're older than I. You know, I that. did know this. I'm a hundred. <laughs> uh, I was watching VHS. Do, tapes, do you bro. know why that there are so many subscription services nowadays than compared to before? Do you what? What do you do? You, you know why, right? I'm. I'm, I'm well, yeah. I mean, guy. they they want to be able to control the content. They want to be able to hold that That's content. One big and... reason, yeah. I mean, it's their own stuff. They they make it. They want to yeah. be able to control it. And there's, that there's was a, there's basically a, the reasoning behind a lot of it. There's one bigger reason than that. That's a big one, but there's one bigger reason than that. The biggest reason is money. No, yeah, money is the I'm biggest that's reason. The re why. That my reason is yeah. the reason. Yeah, it's money. It's a of control of content, money. but it all under it's all the under the umbrella of money, and it costs more for the consumer to. For everything to be a subscription service, like you said a second ago, the, the, the uh, Nintendo Switch Online yeah. is subscription. And if you yeah. were just to buy those games outright, would be cheaper. The games you want, rather than every single individual game that offers in the, in the subscription, if you just were to buy the ones that you wanted and forego all the other ones, 
it would save you money in the long run. Maybe not in the first oh, year. Oh, yeah, a ton. Maybe not in the first year or two. But in well, let's yeah, say, let's think say, about it. What do we pay for? What do we pay for Switch Online? Uh, I mean, I, I am on with my my brother. Okay, it's like fifty bucks for the the thing, <laughs> the me. uh the expansion. Let's pack. go with the individual one, not the not. So the it's like what thirty, twenty five. I can't ex- remember. With, no, it's more than that. I think the, the with the exp- individual ex- expansion pack. I yeah, believe it's fifty. It's 50. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So so let's times that since they've offered it. They've offered this the expansion pack was since twenty twenty one. Yes, we'll say we'll say that. I think that's right. I think that's right too. That sounds and, right. And twenty twenty one to when this when the switch net when you're going to stop paying for it, which is which assume you're going to you're the person we're ma- we're building a hypothetical per- hypothetical person here. And this hypothetical person had it since day one and canceled it the second they, they the Nintendo canceled it himself, which would be the last year of the console's life. So that would be what until twenty twenty five. We'll say you want to say that twenty twenty five. So two hundred bucks. Twenty six. Two hundred bucks. Okay. If you just were to buy, let's say, ten of those games instead of having all access to all of them all the time for, and what for are they, five like years, seven dollars a piece. So you buy for like seven, ten bucks a piece. It's not two hundred dollars. So no, I mean, I, I don't think I need to tell anybody unless you're. Well, dumb. most people, that's the thing. Most people aren't going to buy. You're right. Most people aren't buying two hundred dollars worth yeah. of virtual console games. Most people are buying one, two, maybe three. You know, or then they'll see this one like, oh, I remember playing that. It's five bucks. Let me get that. And you'll play a lot more than the ones that you'd theoretically buy because they're there. But you would. Yeah. But if you wouldn't actually want to play or want to purchase most of those games, you really would only want a select handful of those. Um, yeah. This hypothetical person. Well, and I do. I do agree with like the the subscription stuff. I don't. I I'm not a huge fan of that, especially now as as far as that's gone. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that. Now buying like a digit one digital game for the price of the game on a system that's a whole other thing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean you are kind of roped into all this stuff and there's it's like like Disney Plus. Yeah. Like I don't know, yeah, Ahsoka, awesome. The Star Wars stuff, awesome. I'm watching Loki right now. But I mean, I don't know. How much of the other stuff on there do I watch? My kids watch it, I guess. They watch a lot of stuff on there, but I canceled uh, the HBO. What is it now? Just Max. Yeah. I don't. I, I. I just didn't use it. But they want to rope you in for this. I mean, at least they don't make you do like a contract for a year. I guess it's. I guess that's good. You can get out whenever you want. I. I really but, feel like TV and the movie industry, the the the, the entertainment industry in that sense. Um. Uh. Well, I'll just call it TV, but you know what I mean. TV and movies. The Netflix is the Disney Plus is. I feel like while it's still all those things still apply in terms of the control they have, and the, it's, you're spending more money than you should be, is all still valid there. I feel like that industry has got a is it's been along uh, long enough now that I feel like they got it down where the consumer understands that I can purchase this for as long as I want. I can I can subscribe to this for as long as I want and cancel whenever I want and come back whenever I want. I yeah. feel like with games. That's just not at least how I play games. That's just not how it's not gonna. That won't work for me, right? I play games at my leisure, and sometimes I'll, a game I really like, maybe I only play it for like three hours in a month, but I still want to finish that game. So if I'm trying to subscribe to play a game, I'm gonna have to spend a year's worth for the game because I'm gonna want to play it every month, but maybe not as much. Yeah. As I mean, I, I agree with you on that. So I think gaming doesn't really apply the same way as movies and TVs do. Because I can, oh, as far like, as the I, streaming example, or the, the, I'm canceling the services, Hulu, I'm canceling Hulu tomorrow because I'm not. I, I watched the show I wanted to watch. I, I, I subscribed for two months, and that's what I I, I paid. Basically, paid fourteen bucks for a season yeah. of television, and I'm canceling, and I'm good until there's the next season's out or there's something else on Hulu I want to watch. I'm going to remain canceled, and I feel like that's the way a consumer. I, I mean, can I'm handle with you their, on that. I'm with you on but that. It doesn't, the subscription but that stuff doesn't work with gaming, in my opinion. I don't think that that kind of. There are people out there. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there. Well, I mean, who Game that would Pass, work It for. does work. The model works. Game Pass. I mean, yeah, it's basically yeah. Netflix. We, for I games. forgot about Game Pass. There, there's we, there's lots of data out there. You know, there. There should be lots of data about streaming and gaming. Cause I forgot Game Pass is a thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I mean, I mean, even that kind of what you're saying. Like, I don't use Game Pass every month. But it just it just goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I had it gone for a while. I mean, and it's and costing I, I thought, you more, and that's costing you more money. But you're okay with that? I'm not okay with it, but it is what it is. I would rather pay and have Game Pass. I don't know. This is a totally different story than digital games. Yeah, this is a totally different conversation. But 
Uh, no, I'm not. And I wish, honestly, with that, that's a whole other thing. That's something I shouldn't be paying for all the time. But now there's actually a game on there I do want to play yeah. that I am playing. Yeah. And do I want to spend $70 on that? Not really. But will I pay whatever Game Pass costs me a month and it's just there? Yeah, I will. Because there are other games on there that I play. And I, it's on my Steam Deck. I have the uh, X Cloud on my Steam Deck. So I guess I do use it a little bit more than, I, uh, than I'm realizing here. But I don't know. I don't know. That's that's really not even the conversation. More of the conversation is the actual digital and physical games. Right. That's I mean that, that we kind of got off track, but um that's where we were at. That's what I wanted to talk about. We yeah. were we were kind of getting into the movies thing here. Yeah. About Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And they are going to stop selling DVDs and Blu-rays. Yes. In Q1. Now you thought for a second it was physical games too. I but did. I did. Yeah. No. That now that would be crazy. That would be wild. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I agree. At this point, yes, that would be that would be absolutely insane. Uh, I mean, eventually they're. I eventually we're going to see them do the same thing. I mean, uh, eventually, pro likely, unless there's a change in in the industry, likely games will be going away too. I mean, that's that's kind of yeah, yeah. That's what I'm point. saying. I mean. We saw, I mean, kind of that, uh, that Microsoft leak where we saw the new, the, the refresh that I guess is coming out next year of the Xbox series X, yeah, which is their more powerful, uh, option that has a disc drive right now is not going to have a disc drive. Right. So they are going, they're, they're going, going all in. They're pushing, well, I mean, we don't know. I guess pass. they could have a, they they're, could they're, still have. They're pushing game. Game pass is their future. Yeah, they are. And they're making, and they could have an external, there. uh, they could have an external disc drive or something that they sell. Like On, if you want to be able to play yeah, like your old games. Like, yeah. Like, kind not likely, but it's possible. Yeah. And I, I feel like something like that, even if it, I don't know, man. And how, how much further does it go? That's the question. Like we can see it happening. Yeah. And I mean, is this the last generation? No, 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 no. Of no. consoles that has a disc drive? Do you think that the PlayStation <laughs> Six has a disc drive? Excuse me. Uh, I yes, I do. I do. Uh, and the next Switch, I do think it has a disc drive, um, an option for a disc drive. Just like how in the refresh here for PlayStation Five, the no, no longer is it assumed that you're going to have one, but just the option that you can have yeah. one. Um, like we talked about in the members podcast uh, on Tuesday, it's kind of silly they're even offering the physical version to begin with because the digital yeah, one stupid. is the, it's clearly the superior one because it gives you that option. They should just charge for three ninety nine, and then an optional disc thing and continue to sell the original PS 5s disc version for five hundred bucks too, right? Like that, that's the, that probably would have been the smarter move, not smarter move, just a, a God. A why move, I don't a know. Move that yeah, makes that, more that whole sense. thing is that, that yeah. the, the the existence of the PS five physical slim makes very little sense to me yeah especially when the when the disc drive is detachable yeah it's like why i don't know hey, yeah. i know i don't want to get into that again yeah no we're it not makes no to. sense it's stupid no. but okay well, uh, let's real let's reel this back into the best buy here um uh, so like you said they're getting rid of all physical media sales by q1 of 2024 so not that not the very very um not distant future the opposite of distant uh, oh wait, hold on. Near future. I didn't realize it was Q1. I With, thought they were just by doing Q1. it by, Q, by by the Q, end of the year. They're phasing it out and by oh, Q1. Oh, early 2024. Wow. Early 2024 is when they're phasing it out. Um so obviously that means that DVDs and Blu-rays is what they're talking about. They're not games. Yeah. Uh, but the writings on the wall for gaming. And I I kind of feel like while it is likely that's where the entry is going to say that it's inevitable and it is what it is, Drip, like you keep saying, is what's bothering me about this conversation because it doesn't have to be this way. And I get why digital is superior, but there are a ton of people who still like physical. And there is a world where you can combine digital and physical and and make it make more sense than it does right now. Because right now, it doesn't make any sense for these companies to make these physical versions of games. It yeah, costs them that, more money. The it costs business. them money yeah. to make. Exactly. It costs them money to ship. It costs them money to sell. Guess how much money it costs them to do that for digital games? Zero. Nothing. 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 So obviously, I'm not an idiot. It makes sense that the industry moves this way. 
Here's what I'm asking. I, as a physical collector, want the option to buy physical. So I will pay a premium for this physical thing. So make the digital, digital games cheaper and keep the physicals at the same price. Or if you want to full, go full capitalistic bullshit, raise the price of physical and keep selling the digital at the normal prices, which are already rate going up in rate, and raise the price of physical. I just want the option, okay? I also want the option for the future to be able to buy this game physical because a lot right, what I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm buying games digitally because I'm finding better deals for brand new games digitally uh via Nintendo's voucher service. I'm able to buy two games at once, save 20 bucks. Yeah. That's very important. Good deal. That's very important to me right now. Uh so that's what I like to do, eShop. Buy games on there, big deals on there. There yeah. are better deals for physical, but that's harder to do because it's through all, throughout all but a bunch of different stores. And if I want to do it online, I got to pay shipping, and it sometimes cancels out the deals. So while yeah. there are better you're basically deals, just paying, you're getting free shipping. While basically. there are yeah. better deals for phys uh, physical, it's harder to do. Digital is much easier to do, especially with the eShop. Mm -hmm. I just want the option, the bet, the 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 solution to the problem for these people, uh, for for the companies who don't want to pay for the extra for the physical costs of manufacturing and selling the solution is make the consumer pay as much as the, as much as that's like anti-consumer sounding it's not because it's a it's a it's a thing to have it's a thing to own no i agree to, i and for those of you guys who don't you want it that's great and i want you to have that option to go digital and i want that to be more convenient for you and all that but for and I'm gonna participate. I'll buy, I'll buy. I'll buy plenty of digital games. But I want the option to remain. To get rid of the option physical is ridiculous. And I'm not talking about an a, a empty game case like they do these days. Like they'll sell you game cases with nothing in it with a digital code. Got a code I'm not a piece talking of paper about that. I mean, at, at one point I probably would have said yes. But that that no, 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 no. I don't want. I want a cartridge or a disc. And I and I want to. I I want to own the game. I want to have it and and play it and, and uh, blow it off but what if there's not even a disc drive to even put it into that's what i'm saying like okay, what if okay. we get to that point? I, I will i will concede i'm getting a little ahead of myself uh, i will concede but no, i understand what you're saying i do and, like and, the idea and, of what you're saying an empty game case is better than no than game case at all yeah i don't want that but it's better than nothing but if there's not a slot to put the game in then what's the point of making it but then maybe maybe at that point you could you could have your your physical thing but I, i'll tell you this too if you're if you're really into and i know maybe this isn't what you're well we have the other problem too which is actually where the game goes if if the servers go down and things like that then you still just got a case but you can get on like etsy people sell yes they do game cases like they just yeah. make them and they look perfect they're great so i mean that would be if you really want to be like i have this I'm going to order this. It's not the same, though. It's not the same. It's as not the, the same. Thing. I understand it's not the as same. Cool but as what you're is. saying is like, let's say even if there wasn't a disc or uh, whatever in the case and you paid like they had it somewhere where you could buy it. I don't think at this point GameStop or Best Buy is going to be selling these things. But if there's a place that you can get the physical box from Nintendo or whoever, maybe there's a new thing that pops up. I mean, how much extra are you willing to pay for that to have it? Now, again, the capitalist bullshit of it all is they're going to, it's going to be like 20. If it were ever to happen that way, it'd be like between 10 and 20 bucks at least, right? That's just the way it's going to be. <clears throat> yeah, the manufacturing, because, the shipping, the cost of the it, material. I mean, yeah. Again, not to get all worldly on us right now, but, but you know, everybody knows it's affected by inflation right now. And like, yeah. and they're going to inflate the prices of physical so high. If they were to go this route, they would it would go to an unreasonable point. It'd be like collector's editions, but all the time. That That's probably what it would end up turning into. Probably. Because of that's capitalism. Actually, that's an interesting <laughs> thought, too. That's yeah. actually a very it interesting thought. It wouldn't be thought. like, here's a game case or something. Yeah, it'd be like, here's a really awesome collection edition. Yeah, it's like, they wouldn't be like, here, like yeah, you're right. It's 400% more because it, there's, and there's a, a there's a game and code inside there. Yeah. But here you get like, it's just like, yeah. I mean, it happens now. Yeah. I don't, I don't, can't remember the last huge, I don't know. There's the Spider-Man one, a digital code, the Spider-Man 2, because it's got like a giant statue of Venom and the spider, yeah. like, 
It's because, awesome. Because the, you think about it, they're not going to go, well, we can sell the digital for 60 and then we can sell the physical for 70 and it costs $5 manufacturer and $2 to sell and ship. So then we're going to make an extra project profit margin of $2. They're going to go, that's not enough profit margin for us. We're, yeah. we're going to go a big box where it's still, it, the box is going to cost about $10, 15 but, yeah, but we're going to sell it. Then we're going to sell it for $150 for it. Yeah. and make $100, not $2. That sounds like a good idea. That's what we're going to do. Evil capitalist yeah. people. And that's what we're, that's what's going to happen. And You're that, not that's wrong there. That, and that's not the solution either because no. this is what I want. And I want to grab a cartridge or a game and like hold it in years, not just about the box. Although I like my boxes, I had Mrs. G buy that for me for Christmas last year. That Japanese version of Scarlet and Violet double pack yeah. box. That's a beautiful box. I do love my boxes. And I mean, too. I think that just comes down to preference. Because like, I I don't I don't care about the boxes. I just want to play yeah. the games. Yeah. I mean, if it's like a big collector's edition with some cool stuff, yeah. All right, I'm in. Like it's got a statue in it or like something. You know what I mean? Something like that. It's yeah, but I don't want stuff. that for every every game. I don't want a collector's edition. No, and that's what well, the, God, that's no. what it would turn into if that's the world we chose. No, I mean, th that's not the solution. Th the solution, I think, there's several. You're right. Passing the price on to, to the consumer, I guess, would be one. Not a lot of people are going to love that. But the biggest problem, I think, is, is just preservation of these games. People need to know that they're not going to go away. That's the biggest concern. We're never with the all digital that. stuff. We, I know, and we're never going to have that. That's never. Yeah, that something needs no, to happen with no, that. And I think we've talked about this before. I don't but think like, so. Really? Oh, uh, I feel like maybe, we have. Maybe in a, few, a past podcast, actually. I, just, I feel like that's got to be figured out. <laughs> like, if they really are going to do this entire digital thing, like, they've got to put people's minds at ease and let them know, like, no, this lives at this place. It's never going away. <clears throat> you know, you can download it all the time. It's yeah. not going away. These servers will not be taken down. And that's just how it will be going forward. They have dedicated places for game preservation. Yeah. Somebody, I mean, one of these companies eventually has to has to take that a little bit more seriously because people are obviously very concerned about it. And with good reason, because we do see these games just disappear sometimes. And I mean, yeah. Again, even if you have the physical version <laughs> of the game, sometimes you don't have the like the actual game. You've got the shitty one that they pumped out to make sure it, it hit the the release date. Yeah, and then you're missing all the patches. Like, I, like I I, I told you uh, today when we were on the phone. Just like it's an older example, but Cyberpunk 2077. Mm. Yeah, like whenever that one is gone or whatever, like there's a version of that game that you have on a disc that's just completely broken here's a here's a completely. good version that's not here's a good example that's a good one drip here's another good one but in a different way mario golf think about that imagine yeah imagine only preserving the original cartridge of mario golf day one cartridge it's mario like half golf. the game it's not less than half the game yeah you get to hit the golf ball that's true and what else you get to do not a whole lot like half the courses aren't there half, half the, the player half the courses half the the characters um modes there's modes that aren't there yeah mortal Kombat on the switch right now came yeah. out like dog shit and it's they fixed still, it so it, it's still dog shit i saw the it's today. still not great but yeah yeah, yeah it's, bad. it's just a, that's that's a big problem too i mean not having that stuff preserved somewhere so even if you because like it or not digital physical whatever things have ch the way things happen in gaming has completely changed but the media has stayed the same it's still a disc i mean that we have the digital option yeah but the way that they push patches the way that they've done things there's no i don't know it's different and there's been no no push to to remedy that as far as preservation yeah this, let's be clear here i think we should, i, I want to be clear i'm thinking for myself you can agree with you if you do uh this is not an issue of costs this is an issue of profit margins and that's what bothers yeah. me. The the biggest thing about this is that's what I've said it multiple times. And I, you know, obviously you, you know how I feel about capitalism at this point. Um, but it's the pro it's the what care what they care most about these companies. What they're caring most about is the profit margins. Oh, yeah, and that's they're what drives me. It's not the cost. It's are. not the customers, not the people who work for them. It's the profit margins, and that's what drives me the most insane about this whole. I mean, thing I know is, you. I know you don't like that, yeah. but I mean that's. Yeah, that is it. I mean it's. They're trying to make money. They're you say business. you don't like that. You like it? 
I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I understand it. I mean, profit margins. Yes, that's that's what business is about, making money. That's why you have a business. It's not it's not to be buddy buddy with with yeah. the people buying your stuff. It's to make money. Well, I mean, I mean, I know that sounds like shit. That sounds bad, but no, it's no, the no, truth. It's not, it's not. No, no, no. It's not bad because that is the purpose of business. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, that's. I don't know. I understand what you're saying. It does suck, but it's like. Th- I mean, think about it. If you owned a business, and you could save, a ton of money by delivering that same, end product. Maybe not the box, but you could deliver that same product. For a, a fraction of the cost, I mean, not a fraction, but way cheaper. I mean, as a business owner, would you not at least look into that? Well, no, if, if it's going to help my – I'm not the same person that's running these businesses. Like, me, Jeeb, is not the same person as, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos or you know any, any of those other rich people who are running businesses trying to save for, for profit, mar- profit margins. I don't think the same as they do. Uh, because I'm not the same person as them, and I don't think the same way they do. So, no, and yes, I would look into think ways to save money for my business, but I also wouldn't be looking for ways to save, or not save, we're not talking about saving money here, we're talking about adding more, because they have these big businesses, they have what they have, they, they as much as they do. They have a ton, they're, they're very wealthy, they're just looking for even more. And would you say, would I be looking for even more? Sure. But at what point? You know, and this is no longer a gaming conversation, and we're going to stop this. Because <laughs> I don't think people here really want to hear yeah. us our political I mean, yeah, about, it is about, what it is. About, it's about just, it's gaming. It's business. They're trying, they're trying to, to maximize profits, which... Yeah. Is it the you know. right thing to do for the consumer? Because at the end of the day, whether how however you feel about the politics of the matter, we're still all consumers here, and that's you're, yeah. You're, but you, I mean, they you, don't care. You, they you don't drip care. our consumer. The po- people listening to this podcast are consumer. Consumers, they don't care about you. And this move is not to help you because you're, it's more convenient for digital games. This move is to squeeze more money out of your wallets. That's the, that's why this is the conversation we're trying to have tonight. Well, it's not, not really squeezing more money out of your wallet. It's it's more just. Not having to put as much in to get that money out of your wallet. It's going no no no. That's that's where I'm saying you're short sighted because you're missing the point of what they're doing. They're not doing it. It starts with just getting rid of a game card, uh, a game card um, holder, a game uh, sleeve. You know, it starts with that, and it ends up being a subscription service that costs you way more money in the first place. We're that's the world we're going to. We're headed toward a subscription model of gaming where they're all virtual. And it's like the Netflix, Netflix of gaming. And that's like Game Pass. That's the yeah. world we're headed to See, I don't- for all games. And I think that's a bad world to live in. I think there is a place for Game Pass in the in um in the ecosystem of gaming, but it, it's not it is it is there is no place to get rid of the way the system we currently have to replace it with subscriptions. That is a that's bad for yeah, the I consumer. Don't- it is bad for the consumer. I don't I don't know if I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe far off, that could be something. I don't see Nintendo going that way. I mean, it's possible. You're very right. It's possible. Game Pass is working, but look how long it's taken to get this actually working to a point where it's like, yeah, this is the thing. And they're still not, like, they're still trying to get these game studios to get these games out. So they're actually putting their first party games on there. Because they don't have, like... Can you answer you know, the question? They still I, are not is putting it out the game they working? should be putting out. Is, now, and what's the what's the definition of working? Because to my knowledge, if if Microsoft wasn't, or excuse me, if Xbox wasn't owned by Microsoft, Xbox would have already folded as a company. They've already. They yeah, I mean, already, I'm not sure. They would have exactly. already failed. No. The, yeah, there's a there's a long term <clears throat> plan with this. That's what I'm saying. It's just now starting to really. They've put crazy amounts of money into this to make this a thing, and there's a long term plan clearly, which. We see evolving because I remember when it was first like announced, I was like, this is crazy. This will never work. But I mean, you know, the further and further we get into it, you can see like, all right, it's it's working. But at at what cost to them to get this actually to the to the point where they want it to be? You're right. If it wasn't Microsoft doing it, this would, nobody would do this. Nintendo doesn't have the money to put in like that. Almost nobody I mean, maybe, really. Who? who? I mean, like Amazon, Apple. I'm just thinking of rich yeah. companies in in in. In the in the in least in the universe, like oh, and Google, Amazon's Google, got theirs. They've Google. got what Luna? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, 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 they do. Yeah. 
So like the, there are very the very few who can't afford to do this. It's not a profitable thing right now. No, and, like, I, and that's and what again, I'm saying. Like this there is could be a time where we see this stuff actually work for Microsoft way down the road once once the once everything's happened, and then Nintendo says, "Okay, there's the there's the." That's the way you get there, but they've already done it and it's normalized now. So it's not going to cost us nearly. I could see them maybe going in that direction then, but that's going to take a long time. And by the way, Game Pass right now is $15 or $20, whatever it is, you know, yeah. depending on, or $10 or between 10 and 20. That's what it is now. You're a fool if you think it's staying there forever. You're just a oh, fool. Oh, no, it's definitely I mean, not. we can, again, we can use history to our advantage and look at uh youtube tv as an example i'm going to bring up here yeah. youtube tv when youtube tv came out was advertising way less than cable there was in their advertisements actually most recently they in a courtroom they had to they were forced to stop saying in their ads they were six hundred dollars cheaper than cable because literally they're no longer six hundred dollars cheaper than cable they're like it's almost the same price it's almost the same price but like again, to, to, my, bucks? to my point it started at 35 dollars, and that was such a good deal and and they probably were losing money. Yeah, and, I got in at fifty, <clears throat> and I was like, "Hell yeah, this is great!" Right, and fifty wasn't that long ago, really. Uh, it, no, it wasn't. It was like what two years ago? Yeah, uh, and now it's like almost eighty bucks, and they they've raised the price like two times in the past year or something like that. Like it's went from like sixty something to seventy, and now seventy to eighty or whatever it is. Yeah. The point is, that's another reason, another example of how bad subscription models are for the consumer. Netflix starts at five dollars. Different time period, obviously. That's the different, uh, different inflation, uh, you know. But now it's like, you, I guess you get ads. You can get the ad version for a little bit more, but who wants ads? Nobody. That's why we're. That's why we're. We're forgetting the reason we got off this cable from the first place. It's for the fucking ads. Nobody ads, wants yeah. the ads. So we're, we're history's repeating itself. It, it's just for tech history. It's a lot shorter of a time period than real history, and we can use this to our advantage. And look, it wasn't that long ago in history. It wasn't tech, but in history. Ten years ago was not that long ago. We can see where this is going. This is a bad place to go. And the, the, yeah, the the subscription stuff. I agree. Let me ask you this because we, we didn't talk about this, and I'm I kind of wanted to ask you how you feel about this because I know I know where you're at on the gaming stuff as far as physical games. So we don't we don't need to cover that again. But I want to ask you about something else because this is what I'm curious about. Do you feel the same way about movies, music? physical actual like dvds is that something that you collect i know you have vinyls vinyls different i feel i feel like vinyl is a completely different thing it is not it is the same exact this is just uh, the what i could grab with my hand and i right. have about 20 more handfuls like this um and there's what Okay, but I'm not here. asking about vinyl. I understand collecting right vinyl. That's like a thing. Okay, that's yeah. never gonna go away. I'm asking you, when's the last time you bought a CD? Not that long ago. And guess what? Wow, it's in my car. Really? Because they're cheap now. I, I, at least they were when I bought it. That was that's a couple, crazy. couple years ago. I bought Billy Joel Best Hits. There's like 30 songs on there for like a buck, literally a buck. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll put it on the car. Sometimes I don't want to deal with Bluetooth. A lot of times, I don't want to deal with Bluetooth. I bought a new release, even. If you think I'm only buying old stuff like Billy Joel, I bought Silk Sonic, uh, their first the self-titled album, Silk, Silk Sonic, uh, uh, with uh, Ander CD, Anderson, Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. Fucking fire album. Uh, too short, if I may, if they say so, if I'm getting musical cheek here, crit critical here. Uh, but a beautiful album. I bought it on, on as a CD because I, first of all, I wanted to support them as artists because I, not that they need it. I know they're very rich, but I wanted to because I enjoy the music and, and art that they put out there. I wanted to f actually support them with real dollars, not streaming service dollars. Because by the way, if you didn't know, again, if you want to look at music in the streaming service, that's hurting music. I'm sure you know all about yeah. that drip. So yeah. again, my point is even get, it, my point only gets stronger. It, yeah, it, I'm I'm just I'm looking for an opinion. Uh, okay, what about movies? When's the last time you bought like a Blu-ray? So I am 28. I'll be 29 this year. I'm not somebody who bought too many movies in my life, um, in term because it just wasn't the right like I my, when I was of age to buy stuff. I, we were in the transition of DVD to, to Blu-ray, and when I was a kid, it was VHS, and I wasn't buying VHS as a kid. Um, yeah. So like. Obviously, it was a weird time to buy physical media when I was of age to buy. 
I was buying Blu-rays for discounted prices um, because they were even then they weren't getting bought. But I'm like, I liked, I want to own Star Wars. That's like something I want to do. I have most of the movies. I think I have eight of or seven of the nine of the of the Skywalker trilogy, and I would like to get the last two because uh, I want I want that. And do yeah. I do I watch them very much? I did before Disney Plus, <laughs> and then Disney Plus came around and put them on there, and it was it was pointless. Um, it's easier to just yeah throw it on there. Yeah, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like I even back whenever before streaming services, I wasn't buying physical, uh, like movies or seasons of TV shows. I I I'd buy everything through Apple. That's where I got all of it from. And you remind me of my story. That I quickly want to tell. Uh, I yeah, have a story. Like, so like I just I said, bought. Uh, what did I just buy on there? <laughs> Mario. Yeah. Was that where we bought it from? I don't know. We bought it. That's where a lot. No, spy, uh, the second Spider-Verse movie. Yeah. So bought that. like I said, I wasn't buying too much stuff as a kid. But when I was a kid, iPods were a thing. And video iPods were becoming a thing. Oh, yeah. And, it was like it looked like a phone. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. So I do have uh, some movies and TV. I have like the full season one of Angry Beavers. If you guys know what Angry Beavers are, <laughs> uh, I have. I, I bought the one of the la- la- last things I bought there before I stopped buying stuff was uh, the first Avatar movie. I have digitally with Apple that I bought when I was younger. Nice. Uh, but guess what, Drip? And again, makes my argument even stronger. Uh, I just there's hard to make my. It's really hard to weaken my argument to be honest. But uh, guess what? What guess what? I can't watch any of that stuff. You know why? Why? Because that account is locked out. I was locked out of that account, and I can't. I have no access to it. I've tried. For what reason? Uh, well, for well, to be clear, it, like I said, it was a, an account that I had when I was a kid, and I it was an Apple stuff, and I and I eventually moved on to Android and completely forgot about all the Apple stuff, and it wasn't until a few years ago I was like, I want to have access to that stuff again. I bought it. After all, I should have access to it. Yeah, I would call. I'm sure they can get you in. I, I calling maybe may work, but I've tried everything I can with the computer. I've tried yeah, I all would call. that stuff. Um, but that account is I'm just locked out of it. And I have no I have I would have no way of proving that I own that account. I don't have access to that original email. That re, I don't even remember if I know I don't even know if I have the original username even. And that's one of the biggest problems with uh, dig, phys, uh digital media is that possibility of you losing it from whether it's your own fault. Or the company decides to take it down and you don't get it and you lose it that way. But in my reg- in my case, I was it's innocent enough. I was just I was younger. I didn't understand. Yeah. I, I mean that I should have kept that email and remember that would, password. I would look into that a little bit harder. There's probably a way you can get that stuff back. I would say, but yeah, that does suck. I mean, I don't know. I I have all my stuff in in those types of places. It's just easier. It's easier than having a big ball of movies. It's, it's easier nice until those library. services change. Or, and or get rid of that stuff, like I bought a movie on Google Play Movies before it was Google Play Movies. It was called like Play Movies or whatever for because Google does weird stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, they yeah, did. Yes. Luckily, they transferred those purchases to their new apps. Yeah, that's not a guarantee. There's certain yeah, once, that's not ser- a guarantee, once that service but, I mean- ends. They can absolutely say those purchases are no longer valid because they was on the well, old Well, Apple kind of did the same thing. They changed all their stuff around, and now it's just <clears throat> whatever, Apple TV, and then you can get Apple TV Plus, which is their streaming service mm-hmm. on top of that. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I don't know, man. You could lose you could lose physical get- stuff like that. You can't. I mean, they can break, can break in your the, house the con- and take your shit. Some people can physically steal stuff. People, c- Your stuff can physically break. Your consoles you play that stuff can, can break. There could be no replacement parts or very little to actually fix the console, which that's a flim- flimsy, flimsy argument. I'm not saying it's foolproof that physical is perfect. I'm saying it's better than the latter. Yeah, I mean, getting locked out, that sucks. That does suck. That's a little bit on you, though. I was... 13 man <laughs> i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not i'm not i'm not I yelling mean, at you i'm just saying yeah it's a little bit on you too old man drip know you, you know that you're gonna you know that how many emails have you lost access to drip i'm sure there's a bunch a lot so oh, don't, man, don't be don't be like that a bunch it's, hey, it's on it me can happen to it's anybody but it can happen to anyone it's too easy it can but also anyone can have their house broken into and all their dvds stolen too what's more likely you forget your email or someone breaks in your house Probably the email. Mm. Probably the email. Probably by a significant, significant. Might want to just write that down. Lock your doors. <laughs> Lock your doors and write down your email. Anyway, 
Uh, this podcast I thought was going to be way more organized than what it was. That's that's partly that's mostly my fault. Uh, this conversation it was it's such a broad conversation that involves, I know there's so much. It's just too much to really. There's so much I wanted to say about it, and there's still more I want to, but it's just hard to get it all out while keeping an episode together and and and. Hey, whatever. <laughs> it's just too hard. It's too hard. Hopefully this was an enjoyable conversation, I hope. Uh, obviously, our podcast is... I think... I pride our ourselves. I pride myself, and I hopefully you do too, that this podcast is not like another podcast. This podcast is a conversation that hopefully yeah, it feels... Yeah, it is. Hopefully I, yeah. it I mean, feels, that's kind of been the, the, the whole thing Yeah, as we've been doing this anyway. It's it, just... It, we're just talking. I don't want it to feel like a tr- traditional podcast where, or con- piece of content in general that's very structured. I like the fact that we're very unstructured, but it, it's almost like controlling the chaos. While I want the chaos of the unstructuredness, this episode we probably didn't do as good a job controlling that chaos as we wanted to. That's all right. We did but our best. that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes it gets like that. But uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, man. I, I, what, I mean, I'm so out of it. I don't, how long have we been doing this episode? I have no idea. This could be an hour long. I think it's like over an hour long at this point. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're at an hour twenty right now. Yeah, so. I think we're gonna we're gonna call it a wrap here. This was uh, definitely an interesting episode. Hopefully, it got yeah. you guys thinking. Hopefully, you guys are you know can if you want to write in the comments uh, if you're on audio platforms you can go ahead and, and add us on Twitter some of your thoughts go in the Discord all there's plenty of places you guys can hit us up with your uh, if you want to respond to things that we had said uh, feel free to do that down below with the links down below uh, those of you in the stream we're gonna hang out for a little bit I do need to get going um, it could have cut the after show a little bit short I think what what were we doing that for I can't remember what we were doing that for because you're streaming that's right I am I literally almost forgot uh, I'm streaming after this. Uh, honest, mis- almost, honest for almost forgot. Um, I'm streaming after this, so uh, that that's gonna happen, uh, dude. Don't drink three beers before a podcast. That's what I need to not, not do in the future. All right, all right. Uh, all so right. we're gonna end this podcast. It's be a fun guys. stream. Can't wait. Oh, Can't yeah. wait to watch this. One. We're gonna end this podcast, guys. In the stream, hang out for a minute. We're gonna talk to you guys. But those of you listening on the audio side of things, we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.